Yo, yo. It's like when you sit back and you see, like for everybody that was on my live earlier, <clears throat> appreciate everybody that came. Appreciate everybody that came to the live earlier. We had a big crowd in there, over a thousand. Man, when y'all really sit back and say, bro, all the people that knew, oh, that's some painful shit, man. Hey, look, when you think about this shit, right, <clears throat> like the thing about battle rap, I promise y'all this shit is a wild movie. It's like, to keep, to go higher, you got to cut somebody, bro. You have to, bro, this is, this has became like, battle rap is now, bro, it's a, hey, look, for all y'all niggas that's trying to get in this, don't do it, bro. It's demonic, bro. It's, this shit will destroy you, bro. Like, now that the world, like, I'm, for y'all that don't know, bro, it's like I'm standing in the middle of a tornado right now. Because in the last 48 hours, man, I found out so much shit. Man, like, in the last 48 hours, bro, I have found out so much shit, bro. And it's like I'm standing in the middle of a fucking... It was niggas that knew this that didn't even say nothing, bro. It's just like... It's like, man... For real though. But but look, this is what we learned though, y'all. What I've learned is you gotta step on shit to go up. I'm gonna step on a lot of people, man. Yeah. I found out how many people tried to stop me along the way. I found out who texted him and said, Hey nah, not verb. Just just blatantly like don't let him get too far because he can't he can't get further than me or he can't get it's like damn okay i'm gonna do this mickey battle i'm done with this stupid shit though for sure but you say this is what i told y'all this was gonna happen i said bro they gotta settle out Man, when you go and then you go and dig into that shit, I just had Rochelle online and she's into this sport uh, fully. She has three, four degrees, read everything. And it's like, when you think about what you lose, man. And then when you think about who fucking knew and didn't tell you, man, and didn't say nothing. Like, it was, it's a few of battle rappers that knew that. It's a few of them that knew for a long time how that shit went. They knew. They knew. But this is a game of, of uh, this ain't a game of, of, of real shit. So that's why the real shit is over with me anyway, with everybody. Uh, miss me with the real nigga shit. If I got to cut you to get where I got to go, I'm slicing your bitch ass. So, so be it. I found out so many people tried to slow me down. Man. Like, for real, tried to slow that man down. Like, nah, don't. Don't. And that's crazy. You get in and you close the door. Niggas, niggas want to just, hey, this is pathetic, bro. But this is a game, though, right? This is a game of runs, though. It's a game of runs, though. Y'all couldn't stop me and y'all tried everything and still couldn't stop them. You only could slow them down. You couldn't stop them. You kept coming. Now that I'm in y'all's system, I'm finna burn y'all, man. I'm finna burn y'all. to See, I'm the wrong nigga to, to, to learn. And had the ability. It's got to be one or two things, man. This shit getting big. It's like, so let's go into this 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 case. Where's the Yoshi? Yoshi Dow has summoned you. I sent you the thing, Yoshster. I did send it to you. And it's like, bro, I was on my live today, bro, and we broke it all the way down. The case was, bro, a multi-million dollar settlement for the nigga who found the niggas. And the rappers, you've played with them and took them for you did them like that? Man, y'all crazy. Yo, she didn't I tell you this was gonna happen? Yes, Verb, you did say that. I'm not gonna lie, this is a little bit over my pay grade. I'm I'm I don't wanna touch it. I don't wanna say nothing. I don't wanna make nobody mad. All right, well get your weak ass in the congregation then. <sighs> and go back to slavery. Fuck you talking about. All right, man, this for the Maki Dada people, man. Go go sit in that section. 
Give us free, nigga. You might not be with this type of shit. Okay. Go to that section. <laughs> okay, Yoshi. See you. I don't know what I'm with. I'm just observing. Nah, nah, I'm yeah. just watching. Hey, hey, nah, in this I'm situation, just watching. nah, you got to pick a side. You watch from the crowd then. Fuck you talking about? Nah, you got to pick a side, man. This is the this is the right side of the street. You know what I'm saying? This is the this is the correct side. This is the side that you know that you know. I and, and I brought you up here because you are you are a rapper, and I wanted you to understand, like you know, the magnitude of of what's going on here. But some of y'all, yes, an event today. We all in Phoenix. Y'all all in Phoenix. Oh man, get y'all Jim Crow ass. I ain't no fe- no event today. Fuck out of here, man. Is you crazy? Y'all in Phoenix today? Is that what you said, Yoshi? That's what you said. You said that's the. Yeah, I was invited. You was invited. Hey, hey Yoshi. Hey man, get out the car, man. Go on, get out the car, man. Cause hey Yoshi, now I understand. Go on, get out this motherfucking car, and you go across that street. Now look, this what I'm gonna do, Yoshi. I'm gonna go to this stop sign, and I'm gonna turn around. When I turn around, I'm out the window with it. Preferably, you might want to get it, go get into some safety. But I'm gonna let you out the car. I'm not gonna shoot while you in the car. That's risky. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm going to let you out on this corner. You should probably go behind the building. Is that all right? All right, peace. Fuck about that car, Yoshi. Fuck you talking about. These motherfuckers took millions. And you said you don't know. Yoshi, you know how much money? You're losing a month and you're a single mother and they don't book y'all like that. Like, are you aware of how much money? These niggas have took countless amounts of fucking money, man. Like, And pretended like it wasn't there the whole time. Bro. You niggas is gonna burn in hell, bro. Y'all is gonna straight burn in hell. This is insane, man. But I knew it was sheetrock, though, right? Because I'm, because look, in our whole time of our relationship of knowing each other, it's like y'all on one side of the street, I'm on the other side of the street. We can meet in the middle, but I be looking at y'all like the Wolverine could take y'all. And y'all be looking at me like we'll have to take Verb, right? It's like a kind of, but I'm like, no, I know I can take y'all, man. I just never had a reason to. We just watched Norbs punch y'all in the face, man, and said, give me my motherfucking money. And you just posted last week that what Norbs was saying was bullshit, man. You told Danny Myers to go on camera and say that shit, man. Danny Myers was on camera, man, saying that a different thing just to cover it up. You sent Danny out there, man. You posted from from the Twitter that Norbs was all lies and you just fucking settled, man. You fucking liars, man. It's fucking li- the, the, the lie level that y'all go to is unnecessary, man. Man, we put our time in with you next. Beasley, I need you to get chlamydia ASAP. No, not not chlamydia. You need some extreme herpes. I wish that upon you, Beasley. I ain't bullshit, I do. I ain't gonna even hold you, cause I ain't no politician anyway, nigga. Let's just Beasley. I I I I need you to contract herpes in like in the next four to six days. Like I now I be patient. I give it a week if I got to God, but he needs herpes. Because everything I asked for has been happening to me. God, Beasley needs herpes. Severe case. I need him with <laughs> jingo bells hanging off his nuts, nigga. Hey, Beasley, I want you to have herpes so bad that it hurts when you cough, nigga. Please. And I, what do I got to do to get it? What do I have to do? <laughs> hey, look, some people not supposed to get too rich, like 50 Cent and me, right? But it's too late. Too many people sink me in the last week. I did 10 million. I went viral on a clip talking on Mav Show. 
last week. Them white folks said, you shitting me? And he can do what? Get this motherfucker here. Y'all done? Beasley, I really want that for you, bro. I do. I do, Beasley. I don't wish no, no, no death or harm to you, but I want you to have an extreme case of herpes. I would love that. That would make me happy. For sure. I like that would make me happy. Guaranteed that will that will just give me a joy that you've never seen. People like this, the devil makes these people grow further. Right? My hey, hey, listen, for all you URL dick blowers, none of y'all are worth more than me, okay? I ain't called off. I'm always on time. Three rounds showed up. I don't make mistakes. I take any fight anywhere you say the entire time. They never had to look for me or say I was late to an event. And these niggas, as soon as they couldn't use me, they showed their color. But, but I am suing y'all, though. So let's get that clear. I am suing the fuck out of y'all. Yes. So pr prepare yourself, nigga. Now, think it's a game. I'm suing y'all. I, I don't got time for this bitch ass shit, man. This is a bitch ass thing that y'all have done, man. This is a bitch ass. This is not even a, a real man's crime, bro. This is manipulation, lying, deception. These are whole problems, man. I sue these niggas, man. I ain't finna even argue with y'all, man. Like, this is ridiculous, bro. It's beyond ridiculous, bro. You just cashed out on Noah's multi-million dollars and he ain't rapped once. And you think that, nigga, I'm finna clean you, nigga. You got me fucked up. I'm telling y'all ahead of time. This case is won already. It's, this is an easy one. All that motherfucking ganking. You niggas been taking from niggas. Y'all making almost a million dollars a fucking month. For real. And telling niggas you ain't got the money. Walking around acting like that shit ain't what it is. So won't nobody else come trying to compete, man. Y'all niggas are going to hell, bro. Y'all going to hell, bro. Y'all are going to hell, bro. It's insane, bro. They're our own people. And these people call they self, we're family. Nigga, we ain't no motherfucking family, nigga. Who did it? URL, put me on the stand. Nigga, shit. Fuck y'all. Man, what you talking about? Nigga, I'm burning y'all. Hell no, nigga. Uh-uh. No, sir. No, sir. We're not doing that. We're not going to do that, nigga. I put in too much time, nigga. Oh, no. We ain't doing that. We ain't going to do that. Uh-uh. No, let me get that. Let me get that. You a motherfucking lie? A nigga going to walk multi-million who ain't rapped the word? You a motherfucking lie? You a motherfucking lie? You a motherfucking lie? You a motherfucking lie, nigga. He ain't rapped the word multi-million. You shitting me. Watch this. Hey, Verb, I know you um, I know you into your, your early morning uh, uh, you know, getting the universe on your side and you know, it's kind of like, it's kind of like service, you know, you putting a lot of things in the air. Yeah. So I think, you know, I think it would be right to, to bring a word up and, you know, we could say a prayer so we can get these prayers sent, sent Fuck to the most high. Fuck for God on this one here. <laughs> Fuck you talking about. God ain't listening to no motherfucking A Ward, nigga. Fuck is you talking about, nigga? God, God ain't listening to no motherfucking A Ward. He been up in pistols and smoking me. Like, nigga, nigga, that that prayer gonna get on God there. She gonna smack that shit off the table like A Ward. Fuck. <laughs> they gonna, they gonna, hey, hey, Quill, they gonna, they gonna go to my section. Did, did Verb send a prayer up or something? Let me see what Verb got. A Ward. Fuck is he want? Smack oh, <laughs> <shit. laughs> that shit off the fucking table, nigga. Don't you not never send me no requests from this nigga. <laughs> nigga, fuck is wrong with y'all, nigga? You know that shit. That's the wrong nigga to get up here to pray. Shit. Oh, we, shit. Hey, look, we can't, we oh, can't use Loso. He was finna hump uh Casey. He threw Yo, he yeah, ain't that nigga. That freak nigga said, boy. That nigga said, he said, he said, oh, hold on. And then he and then he looked down like nigga, la la la. That nigga was with it. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, that's over with, bro. Yeah, no, but no, like, no, it's crazy because I you know, I don't really know what's going on. I've been out the loop, but I just got back in the loop today. And the sucky part about it is, you know, if this comes out public that XYZ won XYZ amount of money 
And then you got, you know, niggas that have put their hard earned time into shit. this shit and only shit. getting fifteen hundred and twenty five in nigga, the flight. Nigga, no, 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 Quill. We can now we can only use only getting thirty thousand, only getting forty thousand, only oh, getting yeah, fifty. Only, yeah, yeah, we gotta we gotta only that shit now. We yeah, we yeah. we in a whole nother any nigga that ain't in that nigga, we ain't talking to you anyway. Sis, go go you can go sit down. We ain't talking to you. We talking to the niggas is up. So what the fuck is theirs? Where is their paper? All right, so hey, bro, I got a question for you. How much money do you think Tay Rock should make per battle? Oh man, he pro you are real. Forty five hundred, man. I don't give a fuck what he going through. I, he with them. I don't give a fuck what he should make. He with them. Whatever he accepts is what the fuck he accept. But the fact of the matter is, it ain't there. It's right here. It's documented. It. That's some paper. These niggas are almost making how much a fucking month. Please? Man, hey, Quill, this is one thing I said. I said, none of us ever questioned who these guys was before this. Because to be able to play like this, that means something in your life let you play with people like that. So that mean made me say, what part you from again? Where you can play like this? With niggas? Hey, Bird, let me ask you and Daylight something. Because I, I watched the live today, and I saw you and Tuna faces. Like, I know you've been exposing this for a while, but I, I feel like when old girl was talking to uh, Dr. Rochelle, I think you even found out stuff that you didn't know. Uh, it's like y'all faces, y'all jaws dropped to the floor. Like, so you and Daylight, by y'all being the rappers, like... How does that make, I know it make you feel like some type of way, but I'm saying, could you explain like, what's, what's the next step to take now that y'all know this? And that, now that y'all know y'all can actually pursue something. I, I'll explain that. Look, I'm going to just make it loud and clear. I'm spending the block. It's just that simple. That's Ain't it. nothing else to talk about. That's it. It, it ain't, like it's up. It ain't no, up. Look, 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 no, look. You got to get that is, money This is what it is. This is what it is. And I, I've been saying this shit for years and a lot of niggas is like, oh, they like just saying stuff. These niggas been robbing us for years. Everybody. Everybody. Every, every everybody around the world. Every one of them niggas. Every one every, of you weak ass low level niggas too. Every, every one of y'all. Every, no, look, you know, it's, it's, just, it's just real facts. And, and I, don't, I don't fault them because it's outsource, insource, how it's the business model. Find a nigga that don't know his worth and pay him X, Y, Z and yeah. rape him on the back end. That's yeah. that's. That's the business model around the whole globe. Yeah. The thing is, most people don't never see beyond that fourth wall. We are privy enough to see, oh, this is what been happening. So let's be honest, like all the times, you know, niggas have reached out to us like, yo, could you take a short? Because we ain't really Man, got it. What it's the bird, fuck? You, know, you know how many shorts niggas took on, on Nigga. Th throughout life? So Nigga. Stop at this playing, point, bro. And, and, and then it ain't worth shit because it's. The whole time, you man, niggas will get man. Y'all don't even know who y'all, bro. They, they that's what made me say, bro. They cannot be from no kind of danger, cause they wouldn't play like this, man. No, this no, no. Fucking it's make Bert, sense. Bert, it, no, it's not. It's not even playing. It's the concept of predator and prey mentality. They understand that we don't have enough sense to understand, especially no, at nigga, the, hey, no, Quill, look, uh, at, hey, the, at the, a at lion the ain't got it. A lion don't got to do... He going to let you know he a lion. You can't walk around like you a goddamn mouse and you got a fucking 40 in your back pocket, nigga. If you, right, a, but, if you a fucking again, lion, stick your fucking chest out so we can right, take you down, nigga. This is this the thing, though. This is the thing, though, Bert. All right, so let, let's say we all the lions, right? All the niggas as lions, which we are. We roaring. Like, a lot of niggas is roaring. But at one point in time, we was hungry lions. And they had nice little, nice little pieces of steak and nice little deers and little antelopes for us, and we bit them. We bit them. But we'll be, we'll bite anything. But but yeah. now we know. Oh, the zookeeper in the cage with us. Fuck the deer. The fuck is Damn. in the fucking cage. He's in here. He's pretending like this, and and, and the whole time you send it. You you know how mad do you mad, bruh? When I heard what Shotgun took to take Kid Slade, I couldn't believe that shit. Man, the shit that y'all be doing, that's not okay. Man, y'all are going to burn in hell. And give me some money first, though. But y'all are going to burn, man. This is, the, this is the devil at its highest form. 
Y'all ain't a record label. Y'all are a record label on steroids because you took advantage of you put record label business on battle rappers. That's a fact. That is this fucking is a wild. Crazy fact. That is Quill. It's unheard of to put us in this. It's un and get this back, bro. They have made us the toughest rappers on the planet. Because look, we come from a form of abuse that's unreal. You can't put industry games on these niggas. They're not no, drawing what the end. We're not getting the advances the industry gets. We're not getting that. You can, how the fuck is you putting these and nobody know Beasley, bro? Beasley, none of us know this shit because this some shit you learned at Warner Brothers and you just created some shit to put on us. And then playing behind the board and stopping niggas. You motherfuckers is sick, bro. Now it, Norbs walks away a multi-millionaire for picking niggas. Meanwhile, you know, Rum Nitty just battled Foots for 4,300. But, um... Oh, oh, no, no. Look, here's the game, stupid niggas. All y'all money gonna go up five to 10,000 to keep you bitch niggas in line. No, it's a fact. Like, right now, and it's... This is just um I um what's up big guy? This is just simple like slave mentality. Like so it's like you know, and this just this rules that they did to slavery back in the days. Like if if the slaves like ever rebelled or started to look like they was gonna rebuild, instead of giving them niggas uh chitlins, they gave the niggas a little you know, a, a little bit a little, little yeah, yeah, a little better food. You go. Keep your people in line, keep them niggas in line. Here's a little chick because that chicken don't the money that they they finna give y'all is y'all's time ten anyway. They don't give a fuck. So right now, like right now, just 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 being honest, if they said, "All right, we gonna make the standard pay for battle rap forty thousand dollars," man, them whole ass niggas in line. Everybody back in line. Everybody. They in line. They in line. They in line. They in line. So Quill, let me. I I you just hit me with a staggering number. You said Rom Nitty just took forty three. Rom Nitty just took. No, 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 no. He he didn't say. Yeah, he was just. Nah, it, was, it was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not talking that much money now. Uh, uh, no, 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 no. TD, don't, don't even say nothing. Don't yeah, I, I, I just made. I just. It was a joke. I just made a number. I don't know. I don't know how much okay, anybody's okay, made. I have okay. no idea. Yes. Okay. No. Okay. It, it's a. It's a. What's What's going on today? Is we realizing. We realizing way shit that we shouldn't yeah. have. Bert, and now it's like, brother, you, uh, not to cut you off, but you you know what's and this is a crazy thing. You know what's the most fucked up part about the whole culture though? Is that what? we lost contact with the fans. So now the fans watch us through somebody else, a third party via the league. And it got to a point to where the fans started to tell us what we was worth. Like, like yep. you know, I like I, said, I remember I, a, this. This is a brilliant tactic, is, bro. It's too it's, rough. It's though. like the the fans and the leagues is against the battle rapper. Like I just remember people telling battle rappers, like like an actual fan with three followers on his account, uh, get online and be like, "You don't deserve that much." What? Like that's that was that's always been sick to me. Like, like a motherfucker be like, "Nah, you know what I'm saying? You should you should stop worrying about the business." You should just battle, bro. Like what? Yo, like the, hey, the, Quill, the, the, today we had a girl break it down, right? Who who does this, right? Uh huh. That's on my YouTube right now, right? We can get her in here, tag her name on chair, right? Oh, is is that is that the girl that that be having all the documents yeah. and all that shit? Who the who yeah. is she? How she getting all this uh, stuff? Cool. Hey, I had on live today. You should check this shit out. Everything she was talking about is public record because these are things I was reading. Oh, public record, yeah. Pub- and, and they wanted it sealed because they didn't want to ruin relationships. That's unheard of. Unheard of. Y'all been punking rappers, telling telling people who not to fuck with. You didn't told some of your puss ass rappers not to fuck with me. I ain't fuck with them whole ass niggas anyway, right? <laughs> You keeping them stuck, stuck to you. You keeping these bitch ass niggas pregnant. You ain't letting them have a season. 
Get your ass in here and get spaded, bitch. That's the way they treating you rappers. Get your ass back in this house. That's the way they treating you niggas. Oh, fucking punk. Nah, you know, you know, you know what's, you know what's, you know what's sick? Like, it is kind of sick for me. The sick part of it is, and this is not pointing the finger in any direction via the league owners, but the sick part is raping a nigga via financially throughout his entire lifetime and then telling the motherfucker you can't go get no money nowhere else. That's Man, crazy, unheard bro. of. And, and then spitting on your name to other people. Ah, oh, yeah, he doesn't do this. Ain't that crazy? That's that's some sick shit, man. You know what was crazy too? It, it was crazy. This is another crazy thing. Like, I remember um, I was talking to Surf, and uh, Surf was like, "Light, you know what I'm saying? I ain't coming outside unless I get seventy or better." And in my mind, I'm like, "Nigga, you top priority over there, seventy? Yeah, that's, that's it. What I thought too. Like, like, and, and but see, when you when you at the, you know, when you coming from the hood, you come from the slums, like that shit seemed like godly numbers. You know what I mean? Like seventy seemed like godly numbers. But when you get older and you become a businessman and you're not looking at this shit from a friendship or a, or or any feelings like that, and you start to calculate numbers, man, surf worth every bit of five hundred thousand dollars per battle. Uh oh, uh, you might want to see what happened today, cause that, cause, uh, bro, it was ugly today, Quill. The numbers is high on everybody. <clears throat> they high. They high. I'm telling you, they're high. They're high, brother. They're high, and, and it's crazy because. It's like they'll do this shit, and, and we roll with them niggas, bro. It's it's this is wild, bro. We roll with them against anybody. We roll with them. We pick URL. We roll with these niggas against everybody, anybody. And they lying the whole time. As soon as you turn your back, like, hey, fuck him, fuck him, let him die. You put industry moves on battle rappers. That's so weak. Yeah, that's tough. That's so fucking weak. Yeah, that's tough. Like when I start. I knew shit was getting weird when I started to see like the five battle contracts and ten battle contracts. I'm like, this shit sound like albums. Like that. With no advance. With no, with no, no advance. advance. That's crazy. And, and guess what? It makes so much money because this is why you th- these tactics, the, uh, we got to be worth more than 90% of rappers moving, period. Because they didn't want nobody to see it. Make sure no one can see this. If 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 we give away how much money will we go on? How much y'all taking? And then you gotta argue and fight with a nigga for an extra ten or fifteen thousand. You gotta argue and fight. Oh, y'all look crazy. But it's, sim- it's just simple metrics are outsourced bargaining. So you know, talk you down, walk you all the way down to the lowest number they could walk you down and then profit the most. It's, it's just simple slanders in how business work in general around the board. The thing is, mm-hmm. the difference is, and it's just me speaking from the music side, when I go into these labels and I go into these offices, I don't know these niggas, so I don't even feel like we could talk on no friendship level. So it's strictly just the numbers. The thing is, we've grown up. We've grown up with these people. Like, you know, we spent 20, 10, 15, 20 years or whatever with some of these individuals. So we have tricked ourselves into believing these people are our friends. The word brother, the word, you know, my guy, all that, that's been playing in our ears and minds for years. So we have this relationship standard, like to where we feel this is my guy. He has the best interest for me. And I'm going to look out for him so I can make things go. And in all actuality, that's not the truth. None of us are friends. Abs- absolutely none of us. Absolutely none of, not. None of us. Absolutely not. So everybody here will cut everybody. And that's the way I want everybody to carry it. I know you'll cut. Hey, Quill. Hey, Quill, how you doing? I know if you got to cut me for this money, it's okay. Yeah, right now, if they yeah. tell me, yeah, uh, right. uh, report verb uh, right. Twitter space for X, Y, Z, I'm reporting. I'm telling you that right and now. And guess what, Quill? <laughs> and guess what? If they say, hey, 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 Verb, here we got this million five for you. Just make sure you say Quill ain't shit. Quill ain't shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I see your Christmas gift, nigga. <laughs> hey, you know what time it was? Hey, business is business. Yeah, but... Hey, 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 look, hey, look, I got Rochelle in here, bro. Hey, they like, you can tell her, ask her the questions you want to ask her right now. Oh, she right oh, there. Yeah, no, I, I just, you know, I was, 
Rochelle, you there? Yes. Hey, can first you hear me? Here. Come here. Okay, oh, yeah. cool. Would you like to go ahead? Hey, Rochelle, your voice got a little loud today. It's like now everybody listening. Ain't yes, you? they are. Uh, no, no, I, I, I was right. saying. Walk him, walk him down, uh, Rochelle. Tell him, tell him what you do. Tell him what's up, and let's go. Peace. How are you? Um, Daylight. I am Dr. Rosie. I have a doctorate in business. I'm a hospice administrator, but I came to Battle Rap because I've been in Battle Rap for 30 years. This is the core of who I am. And I started to pick up the Norbs case because I knew how historical it was. And I also knew about business enough to know the wrongdoing of URL. And I felt like it was important or imperative that the Battle Rap community understand what was going on with the inner workings of the court system through the Supreme Court. Because this is huge. Because it's at the top level of the court system. And I knew that URL was going to be in the position they in because of their unethical business practices. It's been proven. So I do know that battlers have a right to money um, if Norbs was entitled to money too, but all the money that Norbs is getting is off the back, the back of the battlers. That's what the core value of the company comes from. So I feel like it's really messed up that Norbs gets to get millions of dollars and the battlers don't get a percentage of what the URL makes but URL is making it off of the battlers. So I took on the case and I wanted to read and I read every single document verbatim on my YouTube channel. There was a, no stone that we left unturned. And it seemed like only Verb understood from his perspective and his research that he was doing. And I understood inevitably what this was gonna lead to. So, um, and it was because of the insight he has internal information and insight. I was looking from the outside and we both could see it. A lot of people I think are just in denial about the wrongdoings of URL and nobody's willing to hold them accountable. But I will speak truth to power the way that Verb did. And that's just what we are, why we're here right now. See, my, my thing is this. Um, I like to state this loud and clear. I know everybody's pointing the fingers at, you know, you know, specific people based on uh, stature. But my claim in this whole scenario, everybody robbed us all around the board. Everybody robbed niggas all around the board. Who it's told us we was brothers, though? Well, everybody. Everybody Every didn't tell me brother. Only one set of motherfuckers called me brother. Nobody else. See, see your, your, gripe, your gripe may be with, you know, you know, I guess URL. Like, that's your gripe. Y'all got to understand. I only uh, have two. Really? Listen, listen, no, just hear me out. Just hear me out. I only have two URL battles my whole career, so I, I'm i not really in that position to debate. You know, I just know I, I, I made what I made for URL, but I know they made X, Y, Z, but I don't have that many battles over there. My gripe is with them white niggas and knowing what they, you know, they basically did to me what, you know, URL is doing to, or all these other leads is doing to these other niggas. So my gripe was with a whole other scenario. They so supposed my, to, nigga. Uh, the niggas no, are right. supposed to do it, man. What the fuck is No, you're right. And, that, that you, and that's, listen... This is what I was getting to. When you when you wake up to the, the business model and you understand how the business model works and you go, damn, okay, they got me. That's what they do. That's what they people do. All right, whatever. But then when you realize that business model was implant, implemented by our own people and then ran on us, it's like, wow, like our own people did that shit too. It's crazy. Yeah, but they had to tell out. us all this black nice man shit and, and all, all this black man and the black man did us. Yeah. Fuck is up, man. I ain't fucking with you, Nick. I'm sorry. Go here, Rochelle. Go here. I'm sorry. Well, Daylight, you know the saying, the rich get richer and the poor get poorer. So I'll give you, yeah. I want to give you guys a perspective on what I see, what you're calling a business model. It's just like any other pimp. The pimp gives the prostitute a few dollars to keep her functional, maybe to get her some drugs, or maybe to get her, you know, her hair done or something like that. They send her out on the, tr on the tracks. Meanwhile, the pimp gets all the money and enriches himself while the, the prostitute is out there struggling. This is no different. This is the type of business model it is. It's not a UFC, W, it's not a wrestling. It's definitely not in close to the music, um, the recorded music distribution revenue structure because the battlers don't get royalties whatsoever. There are royalties that come out of this, but the structure that was set up was set up by URL. URL found a way to penny pinch the battler into believing that they had no money, including people that were giving up money like Mr. McCoy and all the other athletes and um, 
artists and stuff, yeah. that are wealthy people that were in Harry and stuff were getting the money. They had people believing that they were broke. They didn't have any money the whole time. They make anywhere from two to five million a month. A month. They would rather pay taxes yeah. at 45% yeah. than to give you guys hundreds of thousands of dollars. I own businesses. So if I have a million dollars, I know I'm going to pay 450000 in taxes. If I give Daylight 200000 that's less money in taxes I got to pay. They would rather give this money to the government or pay any They'd rather to. sign. That, that's what I said the other day, Rosh. They'd see, rather but that, give it to somebody else than give it to us. They don't want y'all to make I'll, money. I'll, 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 but, all right, so going back into that scenario, this was another thing that kind of bothered me on multiple levels. Uh, one of the things was uh, knowing that, you know, I took shorts for certain battles and then finding out later there's a whole basketball nigga or athlete nigga that paid for this whole match. So it's like mm -hmm. I had to find out that nigga put up not just for the whole event. That nigga put up like 80 bands just for my battle specifically. And then niggas was like, here go. 3,000, 5,000, X, Y, Z, whatever. So that means they pocketed, like in their own pockets, they pocketed 90% of whatever X, Y, Z sports player put up to see X, Y, Z happen. Finding that shit out, that shit made me want to do something very evil to a lot of niggas in battle rap. And I'm telling y'all now, I'm still going to do it. I'm just waiting for the right time. Well, there is something in business called business ethics. And what everybody might believe or think is not the case when it comes to business because businesses are held to a higher standard. The Supreme Court case with Norbs was not just about the valuation of Norbs. It was also going to penalize URL for wrongdoing. So they would make an example out of them. This case, if it would have went to trial, Norbs could have got anywhere from 30 to 50 million. It was in the best interest of URL to settle a long time ago. They were advised to do so. They waited three years. But let's talk about the white man, because I want to speak on this, because this is the elephant in the room. You have Pryor and Cashman, which is attorney Samantero. This is your L's attorney. Three years of litigation going on to turn around and just fold that quick. Three years of them billing URL, milking URL with potentially up to a half a million dollars worth of legal fees alone is the amount of money that they could have easily just paid Norbs and this would have never got to where we are today. Our, their attorneys are advising them to litigate, billing them three whole years, fighting the case, suppressing information, being resistant, argumentative, releasing statements to the public, misleading the public, lying under oath. Your attorney's lied under oath too. Beasley lied in an affidavit, a sworn affidavit, had to amend the affidavit after lying because he got caught. Th this shows a pattern of unethical behavior. When you get to the Supreme Court, they will make an example out of your ass. URL did not want that Fenwick report to come out. So everybody's talking about the books being open. This is not about the books being open. Nobody would have saw the books. The books are the information that was in discovery that was going from URL to Norb's attorney was confidential attorney eyes only. So whatever was in the books, nobody would have ever saw that in the first place. So that's a wrap. It was the Fenwick report. And that Fenwick report also contained information such as the event production, the inf event production was funded by caffeine, not URL. That means that if you're, if caffeine is funding, and this is where the white man coming at, okay, well, we're going to, this is how much is allocated for the event, the venue, the battlers and stuff. It will also show the profit margin. So if they're paying 25 to 30,000 for the event production, but the event grossed over 200,000, then you had the licensing agreement that caffeine would buy for the distribution of the um, event on caffeine they would pay an additional fee for that too. So you're looking at millions of dollars because Norbs alone was responsible for about a hundred events. I posted um, the the financials for Born Legacy 8 for 2019. Just off the initial sales from Born Legacy 8 was over a hundred thousand dollars. The event itself was about 
10 to 15,000. They made at least 85,000 profit off of that Born Legacy 8 event. In addition to that, the sale of the licensing agreement. This was done by URL first, this type of formula. It's not a necessarily a business model to rob people the way they did because there is an unjust enrichment when the profit margin is so astronomical and different for the paid labor use. Nobody's going to build. So that's like saying you give a dollar to a Mexican and he built a $2 million house. Is that right? This is one of those type of scenarios where the- Wait, 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 not, not to cut you off. How, how much foreign legacy made again? It made over, and I have the document to prove it to. I can send it to you. Um, Born Legacy 8 in 2019, sales rise, gross at least $100,000. That's on the record from URL. That was what URL submitted. URL submitted that to the courts. And you're talking about all hundreds of battles that URL. All right, all right wait, who, who was on board? Let me, hold on, let me go. Like a C8, because I know all them niggas got paid. Right, 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 you know what? You know what? Yeah, look and see who that was. Here's something else, too. One time Beasley told me. He said, nobody will beat me at this because this is my life. He created the rules. He created the system we playing. Them industry moves that he created have only been done to us. There is no rappers that have got this abuse. We have to be the most highest generating rappers of all time. Because look at the profit margin on them. If the record labels knew that this is how they was moving on battle rappers, they would have battle rap. It's a safer investment. If, if you can invest 10% and have a 90% flip every time, they ain't putting out no music. These niggas created a rule setting that has never been used. It's, it's look, because look, when I was doing what I was doing on it, I'm like, I've never even heard of no shit like this. The people I had look at it. They've never heard of shit like this. This is some shit that these niggas created to, 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 to put on battle rappers. Then you keep them trapped. You block their blessings. You stop their deals behind the board because everybody come to you about the rapper. You stop the deals. You keep them in front of you to keep making money. And then you keep paying him nothing. That 30,000 is nothing. 40 is nothing. 50 is nothing. 80 is nothing. That is nothing. You paying him that? That's nothing. It, it, it hurt. It hurt finding out as we get older. Bro. It hurt. Man, man God is going to, man, man, Beasley, you getting herpes, man. <laughs> you are going to get herpes, I promise you. <laughs> Man, I'm not laughing, bro. I, I I wish that upon that nigga, man. I want I I need you to have that. Fuck that, man. That's ridiculous, man. And and, and then it's worse because y'all they get in our lives. They pretend to be cool just to scan your floor. We thinking that we all partners and family, and we're not. That's the part that fucks you over. K Shine said, man, this nigga has sat down with my kids, man. Beasley is the devil, man. He's unconscious, man. He can he can shape shit, man. That nigga's the devil, man. He is. And everybody know it, man. Everybody in battle rap got bad stories on Beasley. This is shit that they just be quiet. Oh, niggas don't want to get beat. That's another. That's another. That's another he Twitter space. Uh, okay, okay, go ahead, Russia. Keep going. All right. Wherever so you want to pick up. All right, so even though Born Legacy 8 made 100000 Caffeine steps in and they buy the licensing agreements. Um, and I was able to use a blueprint, which was your contract daylight is in the Supreme Court. I don't know you're aware of that, right, with the Reverie case? Um, and there's something about that that you should be aware of because they're telling the courts that your contract, that contract was terminated. Like they, they terminate, like they kick you to the curb. But that's another story. Um, what, when, when I read your contract, your contract says that, they, that you give sole rights for the recordings 
uh, that URL do, that it's at their disposal, that you have no rights to that. But they said that you own the intellectual property, so your actual lyrics are owned by you. So I was saying, because there is a way to stick it to them, a lot of battlers, the way that something like this to attack or come against URL will have to be something class action. In order for the battlers to feel compensated or vindicated, you would have to recreate a model that doesn't exist. One of those models that could be exist because nobody even tried it to even know what success would come out of it. So nobody will know what can be successful unless you attempt it. But say you had a battle that was done, a very successful battle that was done, and your owns the actual recording to it. Since you own the intellectual property, you guys can recreate in a more theatrical or because it's all performing arts you know, um, and and did something different and created your own recordings to distribute and stuff like that is not outside of the rights, but that's the only way outside of suing them that you'll be compensated fairly for the um, actual performances that you did against who you did it against. But there was some other things that came up. Caffeine was aware of the business structure that was being used as far as in paying them a little bit of money and making a whole bunch of out off of them um, as to why they knew that the licensing agreements held value. With Caffeine having over 35 million subscribers, and Daylight mentioned this too, that those numbers that people were seeing were real numbers, but some of them were people leaving and coming back would be counted as an additional because some of the counters work that same way. So if you left out and came back, you were seen as a, an additional person. Why the numbers on the view count is so high, but they are real numbers because of the traffic that Caffeine drives to URL. If you download the Caffeine app, when you download it, the first thing it's going to ask you is, to follow URL. So this is the part where they said about anchoring their content in battle rap. The $113 million Series D funding that was done, some of that money was supposed to be allocated over time to battle rap and paid for the licensing, paid for the production, um, which included the cost for the battlers and stuff like that, and streamed over there. And it was supposed to create um, viewer traffic. So it was supposed to, they lost 48% of the viewer traffic through battle rap caffeine did, but they did not stop them from continuously buying the, um, licensing agreements from URL because people want to see the battle rap competitions. They don't want to see battle rap commentary. And there was no success in that as to why they cut the budget and all the people that were doing commentary and blogging over there stopped getting money because there was no value in that to caffeine. And they had to cut losses before the next quarter or they would have been in the red. And they had people like Cox Entertainment and Fox um, Broadcast are the two major contributors of the Series D. This is not the first set of money that caffeine took in this was the sixth round of funding on that sixth round of funding they were just going to allocate some of that 113 million to go towards battle rap hence why a lot of people was getting paid a lot more money when they were on um doing it through caffeine but caffeine ended up now in this situation with url they're in bed with them they can't get out of bed with them there is obvious um profit in what they're doing. It's just not profit in the commentary part, but the battlers and these competitions created all you battlers that are listening, the multi-million dollar industry that was made off of battle rap started with all of you guys. Started with Averb. Averb was one of the pioneers of it. T-Rex was one of the pioneers of it. Math Hoffa, all the ones that started with URL were the pioneers and as to why battle rap still exists today, but also why the industry is a multi-million dollar industry. With that being said, URL never saw value in the battler themselves. They saw the value in what the battlers were able to produce. Nothing in their brain made them feel as if they should, the battler was entitled to anything. Hence why on the the licensing agreement, the licensing agreements are in URL's name, but John French is the one who has the, is the only human being that has a name on the licensing agreements because he's the one who does the negotiations and the dealings with caffeine. He is the one who has every single battle from URL indexed.
He knows all, he has access to all the URL battles, not Smack and Beasley. John French do. And this is where the issue is because there's some issues going on with the, the partners too, but that's another story. And that's going to end up exploding soon too, because there'd be no reason why Smack in 2021 opened up Smack White Entertainment in Florida under an LLC during litigation, swore under oath in his affidavit and his attorney um, under in testimony in the transcript from court said that Smack White Entertainment dissolved in 2016 because in 2013, URL started the LLC. In 2013, they didn't just, um, they did the URL LLC. The URL LLC was only in Troy Mitchell, Smack name. The URL TV dot TV LLC was in Smack Chico and Beasley name. That was in 2013 too. But that was in Nevada. Then they opened, this was inactive. They weren't paying taxes. They admitted under oath in 2014 they weren't paying taxes. This is why they couldn't go to court. There's no way they could have go to trial. They went to trial, they'd be in jail. 2017, they got another LLC in New York City and they started paying taxes. That one is active, so they're paying taxes on it. Smack mentioned under oath that, yeah, we, we weren't dotting all our T's and all our I's and stuff. That's how he said it. In his words, he said, um, but we started to get legitimized more like 2015, 2016. That's what he was saying. But 2017 was the LLC. So 2009, though, was when they admit the URL existed and was doing battles and people were getting paid and they were running a company. But Smack White wasn't responsible for it, even though Smack White paid some of the expenses. These things that are going on are purely unethical in business. Purely unethical. There is a proven, if you go to court, you can prove some unethical patterns of behavior. That right there alone is what URL could get penalized for by the courts and the millions. So even if they gave the battlers, the battlers, they got 100,000 each and you had 20,000 battler, 20 battlers and each battler got 100,000 on the lawsuit, you still will probably get another 15 to 20 million in just the damages from the behavior because it's proven already. You can even pull up the information from Norbs. Reach out to Norbs' attorney, the battlers need to, because the class action is the only way you're gonna do this because they're willing to do whatever to hide information like they did with caffeine because of that Fenwick report. That Fenwick report got stuff in it that nobody wants to see, which is a lot of the different revenues because URL has got other partnerships and other relationships with people outside of Battle Rap. They also have other businesses that they have that don't nobody know about either. And they also help finance other businesses of friends and family members too. Um, and that's how they make money. But their revenue is crazy ridiculous on top of the money that's coming from that app. They admitted in court that the app, the money that's coming from the URL TV TV app, they, when that money comes in, they just split it. They don't put that money back in the company. They don't try to invest in development. They don't have an epicenter or any actual property in the name of URL because they have no, um, they just see it as the only business model they see it as whatever money we make, we put in our pocket, we enrich ourselves. And that's what we do. They don't have any need to want to do anything for anybody else. And they want to act like they broke. So when these battlers be eating bell money or lawyer fees, are they getting into some issues or a car breakdown or they struggling and they just need to help money, maybe something for Christmas for the kids and stuff. They play broke, but they got millions of dollars. They can easily be like, y'all, see you five grand. Just like when uh, Keshine mentioned that they gave him 15,000, no problem. They, they got it like that. And it just shows right here with the and situation. Then, and then they offered him another hundred. They offered him some more money. Like it's like this is sad, right? Sad. Yeah. This is this, this is sad because the, the only reason <clears throat> the part that hurt the most is because we them niggas learned us, man. They learned us. They like we let them in our lives, man. Like they learned us. That's the most dangerous part with these niggas, man. It's it, it, it's it the whole time we mean nothing to you. You're that means you niggas, I, you can't do a crime around you niggas. You can't do anything around you niggas because y'all will up, y'all will, you, this is showing that y'all will sacrifice and do anybody crazy. And Being around y'all ain't even. Hey, hey, look, so look, here's the, I see it, TD. Uh, so TD posted the Born Legacy 
uh, event. Now, now here's the numbers. You said it cleared over 100. The overhead was 15,000. That plus the licenses. How much do you think the licensing was again? I'm sorry, I was writing it down. They could have sold the licensing for 250,000 at minimum if they know that the, it grows okay. on Okay, so let's just say let's 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 undershoot that. And let's say it showed for 150. So that means $15,000 overhead to the rappers and they cleared 250. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's how it looks. That's why they, they, it couldn't come out. They could not let this family. The family report coming out could have been a danger to Smack. He could not stand up on the stage and not worry about being attacked by somebody who been struggling for so long and riding with them and being so loyal and thinking that they really ain't got it like that um, to realize that they do robbed. Yeah. And, and, and what did you say that uh, they said in court? Can you read that part where they said this will damage the uh, relationships? That part, read that part. All right, so I'll give you a little bit of um, little context too. Okay, so there were letter and correspondence going back between attorneys because they wanted discovery information and your out was very reluctant. Even though they put stipulations and it was so ordered that the judge said to err on the side of giving up everything because the judge was not used to seeing a company be so resistant on just giving up whatever financial records you have the only it was confidential attorney eyes only <clears throat> they first said that they did not want norbs to see it norbs can verify this too they said they did not want norbs to see it because if his eyes got on it he's not privy to it you know, they didn't want him to get it because he could relate information back to competitors. Then they said that, um, then the next argument was that they didn't want the information to get out because they said that it would cause irreparable harm with their clients. Then they mentioned that th it could cause, you know, issues permanently, irreparable harm with the relationships with clients which you can look at battlers, they said battlers, they said sponsors, investors, and they said supporters and fans. They knew that the battle rap community, because we go where the battler go, we don't follow just URL as a brand because there's no reason to. If URL didn't have battlers, they wouldn't exist. URL knows that. URL knew that if they would have wronged some of the, the fan bases, that the fans would have turned on them too. And they they started to because of they seen some of the stuff that they were doing, even with Easy it started. Um, so then they they seen all the wrongdoings. So the fans, they knew that would not download the app, would not be paying that $7.99, and that's their bread and butter. The $7.99 or the app money is their disposable income. They use it at will to do what they want because they're not building anything for this company. They don't even have their own buildings to do events in. Um, so it's cost effective to spend the least amount of money to maximize your profits. That's just how they do it. So they pay the least amount of money that they can and it's pure profit that comes to them. Once that money comes to them, they feel like that money doesn't go any out the door. But what is the sense? And then they sp spoke about the sponsors and investors. If the sponsors and investors that are s giving URL money find out that URL has 10 times more money than they do, what is the purpose of people giving them money if URL got more money than these people have? And these people are taking money out of their home, out of their generational wealth, out of from their children, thinking that they're trying to support the battlers because the majority of why these people are sponsoring is to help the battler, not to help URL. URL just finds a way to do events for free and keep the money. But they were making millions of dollars by doing this. And this has been become a way for them to continuously enrich themselves on the backs of the battlers to the point where now the whole battle rap industry is a multi-million dollar industry. It is because of the battlers and solely because of the battlers. Caffeine wanted to jump in because caffeine seen the money that they could be making as to why they still in bed with URL because of the amount of money that they make and caffeine makes money from their advertising advertisers. So if you got all these people that are investing 
and giving caffeine money to have their products or services surrounded by battle rap because of all the engagement and you see the numbers, the people that the eyes that are on this has the is where they equate the value for caffeine and why buying this licensing agreement for 150,000 isn't bad if you're making a million to two million per licensing agreement on ad revenue. So you might end up finding out five years from now or 10 years from now that ad revenue was about a $1 billion. What's going to happen then? Because that just happened with, um, with Black Ink Crew. They just found out that the ad revenue that the VH1 was getting equated to $1 billion. But uh, Black Ink wasn't entitled to none of that. The same way that URL isn't entitled to what caffeine makes, they have the when they buy the licensing agreement, is even mentioned in Daylight's contract, it will be at the dis their disposal to do as they see fit. They can take it and do whatever they want with it. Your name and your likeness, too. They can do a lot in that contract. It says that we can take your name and your likeness and do whatever we want. <clears throat> so it's almost like selling your soul. And, and just to, to piggyback off that whole concept, this goes to the whole battle culture. Don't ever ask me to come outside ever again. This is why. Like, but a lot of people are like, yo, like, why are you not out? This is what I've been trying to tell everybody for the past who knows how many years. But everybody, oh, daylight's crazy. He does antics. People don't listen to him. All right, cool. So this is what I've been trying to tell y'all. And I told y'all, I, I got to a, a business standard to where I understand my worth, growth, and all that stuff. I'm not budging unless I'm getting 99% of whatever my face is involved in. It's just that simple. So and then you got some fans will be like, well, you know, you should make it. No, you, you don't make nothing. We already been robbed for years. There ain't no, there's no more, mm -hmm. there's no more split the middle. There is no more 70, 20. There is no more 80, 20. There is no more 90, 20, hundred percent. That's it. I think the issue that, we as even just the fans see is that if it is known that fans will follow the battler, a battler can easily do their own event, small or large scale, and do the same numbers as URL. It's not URL as the brand. They're not the machine that people think that they are. It's just that they have created this hoopla around their name to make people believe that but the actionable things will show that there are some leaks that are able to sustain sustain themselves but then again what you have is you have URL and caffeine buying the licensing agreements for the leagues for other leagues because they know the true value and the leagues don't hence the FEMA report not um coming out because then the other leagues will realize the true value in their assets such as the licensing agreement. So if I buy the licensing agreement for, for 50,000, but the same kind of battlers, almost the same battlers are more on a card um, for that league that you have, I give, I say, okay, I'll give you 50,000, but I gave 150,000 or 250,000 to caffeine for their licensing agreement. You're gonna have people wanting more money. But if they're buying the licensing agreement, people looking at that instant money that's coming up front and not understanding the true value or the residual income or how to market or to position that battle or that card to make for them to make money because you're only telling them how they're able to. Negotiations, asking for more money, not letting caffeine come to you and dangle a nice wide you know, number and say, oh, going with it because you can probably get two or three times the amount of that if you ask for it. But nobody understands the value of the licensing agreements like um, URL does as to why URL is getting a higher value for their licensing agreements than some of the other leagues. But how do you equate or find out what licensing agreements are worth more? But if I have the same person headlining, then I should be getting similar or close to if you're giving me 75% less than you gave your L, I'm going to have a problem with it too, because I'm going to find out that even though you gave it to me for 50,000, you didn't made about 2 million in ad revenue. Okay. And, and can you tell the people how long you've been into business and your degrees? And, All right. and, and, and then can you also tell them, have you ever seen anything like this and how long you've been doing? All right. So I've been in battle rap for 30 years. That's number one. I owned a studio. 
and everything. And I was an NR before for 10 years. I have an associate's in criminal justice. I have a bachelor's in technical management. My concentration was criminal justice. Finished both with 3.8 GPA and the dean's list three semesters in a row. I have a <coughs> master's in business administration. My concentration was marketing. I finished that with a 3.95 GPA with distinctions, straight A's. And I finished my doctorate in business administration. My concentration is marketing. And my dissertation is on the music distribution revenue structure. My job is to find uh, the to look at resources and capabilities and marketing responses to threats such as copyright infringement and unjust enrichment and all that stuff like that that affect the royalties that come out of music for artists especially independent artists because, and I also manage Grammy nominated reggae group and other artists all over the world. They tour. I've been doing that for over a decade. I'm a hospice administrator. I have three businesses, marketing and trucking, courier and transportation. And I came into battle rap because this was where my origins lied at. And I wanted to build a business structure for the battlers and for the leagues to find successful, sustainable ways that our, you know, artists can survive and that companies can survive in battle rap by researching and putting them in legit business journals as scholarly and peer-reviewed so that our children and our children's children can look at, especially from the hood, be able to look at some of what we do um, and you artists do and say, I can do it. And here are some of the measures and some of the business models that have been successful. So that there is another, because it's a multi-million dollar industry and this hasn't been done before. I wanted to do that and show the success. Um, and I, I believe wholeheartedly that the battler is the commodity in the machine. And that if a battler forms a structured league that, their fans will support it. It's just about marketing. Marketing is the core of every company. So if you're good at marketing or you verb, it's you verb is a genius when it comes to marketing. So taking some of the, the things that he do, if people just did these things and kept promoting and shoving it, because marketing is like literally shoving it down your throat. Okay. It's like foie gras. I don't know if you know what foie gras is, but it's when you sh shove and stuff a duck full of food. All right. That's just how marketing is. You do it to the point where that's all you know and that's all you hear about. It leads you to the water. It can't make you drink, but the battlers will make you drink. If you lead me to the water and you get me to URL and there's no battler there, why am I going to drink it? So I wholeheartedly believed and I came here because I feel like the battler is the machine. And I came by way of researching Easy the Black Captain because I knew eight years ago he would be where he at. And that was just a theoretical approach. And I'm theoretical because I have a PhD. So that's, so I saw that dang, if I see where he is in eight years and theoretically what I'm saying might have some truth to it. So I just need to research. So I've been embedded here, but I started following the Norbs and URL case because I knew what it really was about as far as in the millions of dollars that URL was making, the money that they were taking away from the battlers, um, the lies, the way that they have everybody mis misled to believe that they really are broke and knowing that they have at least 10 to 15 streams of revenue, not just one, two, three, or four. They got like 10 or 15 different ways that money is coming into this company. And they're just paying a lot in taxes and they're dividing a lot be amongst each other. And the people around them are able to enrich themselves if you're cool with and them. And what's the taxes again? Can, can you tell them their tax is 45% and they could give that to their fighters, but they write it off? They stay giving to the government, correct? Yep. For every million dollars that a company makes, you have to pay 450 dollars to 480000 in taxes. So that means that if when they make a million dollars, the best bet is to spend all that money or have it out in expenses. Instead of them giving the battlers a significant portion of that money, they would rather enrich themselves and put that 550000 into their bank account and pay the taxes of 450000 when if they gave some of that 450000 to the battlers, they their tax cheaper. bracket drops. Yeah, it drops. It drops. Them niggas was so, them, these niggas so evil. They could just give us the money and save the fucking taxes. 
They said we'll keep it and we'll pay higher taxes. Man, any nigga that fuck with them, nigga, you call my phone, I damn near will pistol whip you, pussy. They also don't come. This is re fucking ridiculous. He'd rather say, I'm not giving them niggas no money. I'd give it to the government and pay more. That's the type of money that they're making to where they can say, fuck the taxes. I ain't giving it to, 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 to the niggas. I pay on it. And when even you with, can come, yo, my God. And say, even because a lot of people have been asking me about this, so I want to address this. It's really vital. They talked about how Tay Rock had 50 battles in, and they gave him a cake or a trip. They could have worked their promotions and gave him a Maybach, right? And did marketing around it, and they could have voted off on their taxes and got that money for that Maybach back. Oh, my God. These niggas are so hateful. They don't even the want to give it to us. This is fucking... Hey, man, y'all niggas are going to burn in hell, bro. You are sick to... You are the lowest human I think I've ever fucking met, bro. How can you not... We've been making you millions. You don't want to just say, give him 75 this month or give him... You don't want to do that. You just... You would rather say, nah, I'll let them tax it so these niggas don't get nothing. Absolutely. And that's how they've been because they, for some reason, they just don't see the value in the battlers. They don't want to give them the money because if they did give the battlers what they rightfully should get, not only will you get better quality battles, they won't need to battle as often as they can't put the same amount of money off of them. So if we penny pinch them, it makes them have to come back to us to get more money because they're not going to last on that money that they get, especially if they're getting 1099. Because a lot of them wasn't even getting 1099 until caffeine came in.